Hey guys, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. So my face is looking extra glowy since I got rid of this dark mark that was here and it was just so prominent. This one, the one on my chin, and it's gone. I'm so happy. So I dermaplane this morning and I haven't dermaplane for like two years, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe even more than that. <gasps> Yeah, so I dermaplaned, I toned, I used facial lotion, um, facial moisturizing lotion, which is like a liquid that you apply on your face, and then I apply my serum, and then I apply my facial moisturizer. Um, on, um, I brushed my teeth with this lightning toothpaste. I'll show you guys when I bought it. Because I wasn't liking the color of my teeth. So I bought a whitening toothpaste. To get them back to the color that they used to be. And I also mix it with the Colgate toothpaste. Because it has, um, I believe it has peroxide in it. The Colgate one. So it still has whitening, um, whitening properties you guys see that see how white <laughs> you guys be asking what i'll be using i'll show you guys when i buy it in my hair i have in the tracy tracy ellis ross functional beauty curling cream i can't really give you guys a review on it because yesterday it was really really hot it was 95 degrees in new york and the cream made my hair crunchy in certain areas and i don't like that that's why i don't use gel i like it to be soft and manageable curls i just like it to coat my curls and give it an extra shine you know uh oomph. so this is how my hair looks like i need to bleach my hair as you guys can see my roots are in you can see all that black and postpartum hair loss y'all is real in this corner right here and this corner right here i have postpartum hair loss um timmy broke my mirror um what else i hope i don't get no bad luck <laughs> Even though I'm not really superstitious person, to be honest with you, but yeah, if you guys watch the video that I upload, it's like an hour and change, and it's spend the day with me, just to clarify, she's talking about my entire medical history from birth till now. She's not like talking about, oh, you currently have this and that and that. That was a separate section as well, but when she was talking about my medical history, that was medical history, if you guys could hear, or whatever the case may be. Um, thank you guys for, letting, for staying subscribed to my channel, and that helps me out a lot as you guys watch my channel. That helps me out. This was a white head that I bust and then it tried to scar then it was just like taking forever to heal and I kept peeling off the dry dead skin because like a dry dead skin layer um and yeah Ooh. yeah guys so pray for me on my weight loss journey because they said i'm 297 pounds and my feet are feeling it like once i started gaining this weight it took a whole year mind you but a year and a half but once i started gaining this weight back my feet just started hurting 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 um so i am in desperate need to lose at least <coughs> excuse me 150 pounds uh, 
like ASAP. <laughs> I did the ghetto derma plating. I just used a regular skin shaving razor. I also shaved my underarms, touched up my bikini area because that hair was growing in and it was itching me like crazy. As you guys know, I got a wax two weeks ago and the hair is growing back slowly but shortly. That's why I love waxing. Like, I don't know what I would do if my hair never grew back again. Like, I never think that I'm going to do like the IPO, which is like permanent laser hair removal or any type of IPOs where it's um, permanent hair removal. I will always do like temporary hair removal, let it grow back and do it all over again. Um, I shaved my legs. I didn't shave my arms. And my arms are hairy, y'all. Like, look at my arms. Okay, I am a hairy girl. I am a hairy girl. Look, my little mustache is gone. <laughs> but look at my skin y'all like no lie look at my skin it's just so juicy can you guys see that glow like what y'all be asking what i'm using so i use esther laudel um moisturizing lotion and it's basically a liquid um, it's cheaper than the ski too because that um, when I looked up the price it was like 125 and the ski too if you want the two ounce it's like 225 dollars for the same exact size bottle as the SLR daily selling for 125 so I don't know I don't know y'all I don't know what we doing what we doing are we what we doing but ski is in a lane of its own it's absolutely amazing y'all see that dry skin you see what i mean like and i literally moisturize y'all see that dry skin less than five minutes ago yes y'all see that dry skin see it I haven't done my eyebrows because I'm letting them grow back out. When I do do my eyebrows, I usually let them grow out really, really bushy. And then I just clean them up. So I don't get anything like... I like the full natural eyebrow look. So being that I had waxed my eyebrows earlier this year, I'm still letting them grow out. I think I'm going to get the henna tint because I like the way the henna tint makes my eyebrows look so pronounced. I get the dark brown henna tint and it'd be like $15. It could cost anywhere from, by me, it'd be like $15 because people do this all the time. So it's not considered like exquisite or nice. Other places more downtown in manhattan charge like 60 dollars for the same exact process um because it's considered like exquisite luxury see so yeah i would show you guys what my bikini area looks like now that i shaved on my own after getting waxed but i put powder on so all you guys would see is powder. <laughs> um, you guys have been asking me to film when I either you guys have been asking me for a waxing video tutorial. Um, I'm really gonna try to get that done for you guys. It's just that um I have to have the proper tools to because uh, excuse me. Lately, I've been going to get waxed. I haven't actually waxed myself. So, in my house, I have a tripod and a ring light all in one. But in order to film it for you guys, I would have to, like, set up 
a tripod so that I could film the waxing. And I'm going to do that. I bought a smaller tripod. You guys see that one there? I showed you guys when I set it up. So I'm going to do that for you guys. I'm going to put up a video of me getting waxed. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. We have um, a dangerous pollen count right now going on because it's, for some reason, we just have a high pollen count right now. And even if you're on the inside, if the pollen is strong enough and it travels on your clothes and stuff like that, so yeah it's been jacking me up i've been taking the flow nase which is a nasal spray that works you can feel it um bringing down the swelling in your like for me the swelling be like right here and like when i spray it through the nostrils i can feel the it releasing the swelling so yeah I have a story time for you guys, but you guys know I don't be telling you guys when it's recent. I'll be waiting like two years to tell you guys this story. So stay tuned. Um, um, what else? Yeah, that's basically it. And did I or did I not get a crazy tan? Like, I be using tanning lotions and stuff like that. But outside gave me a tan, even on my feet. Thumbs up this video. Share it, like it. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated with me and my life. Be blessed as I'll do the same. Let me know in the comments section below what other videos you guys would like to see again this is brownie from manhattan new york Mwah.